Excedrin, the headache medicine. Did you know that more than 31 million Americans are afraid of flying? And among them, our own entertainment reporter, <laughs> Jill Rappaport. So we sent her to a class designed to help her overcome her fears. And she's here to tell us if it was a success. Good morning, yeah, Jill. Piece of cake. I'm on my way to the airport, Katie. Yeah, right. Okay, now this course is called Freedom from Fear of Flying. It's a three-day seminar run by Slim Cummings, a former pilot who started the program over 20 years ago. And plenty of people have reason to sign up. The anxiety now starts days beforehand, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, if I know well enough in advance. <laughs> it, it lasts well beyond the flight. And it would get worse and worse, and then I would start crying, and then the kids would start, like, crying. Why was I crying? And, and it just became so bad for me. It's just very scary that you could, you know, let something overcome you like that. And I'm always in control, and I think that's what's so upsetting to me is that I've let something take control of me. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Obviously, I was in good company when I joined a group of fearful flyers at New York's LaGuardia Airport. I'm an overachiever, and I, you know, I like to pursue different avenues and I realized that my career is going to suffer if I can't travel. I feel my heart racing and then the takeoff. I just, I hate takeoff. I hate landing and I hate turbulence. I'm only happy when it's totally smooth. The movie's on. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Captain Cummings and his team of psychologists used a group therapy approach to help us confront our fears. Something called avoidance which is behind all of these things, like even you holding up a paper so you wouldn't look, people closing their eyes on takeoff. It's a way to avoid the experience. We're here to help you get in touch with the experience. By the second day, they had us talking to flight crews, getting an explanation of turbulence, and learning about the dynamics of takeoffs and landings. And these airplanes are tested beyond belief, and the new technology that exists now, the new materials, they just get safer and safer. But I get terrified right here. Oh, I hate this part. And you know, I purposely never look in the cockpit. Really? We visited a stationary airplane, and I actually went into the cockpit. systems keep ice off the wings and off the airspeed sensing things. When you take off, you use all three of these. When we're cleared for takeoff and we're lined up on the runway, we'll go ahead and advance these, and they'll be set somewhere. Whoa. What that's telling you is that you're asking for takeoff is power. Is get off the plane. No, no, it's telling you you're asking for takeoff power and something isn't set where it's supposed to be. Relaxation and imagery exercises helped calm our anxieties. Imagine you're approaching the airplane with the people that you've met here. Imagine doing this with a tremendous feeling of excitement. Big old jet Halfway through the seminar, everyone was making progress. I always imagine that the crew is sort of making this up as they go along, and they're, uh, you know, the, desperately trying to maintain control of the airplane. And, you know, the fact that they don't seem in the least bit worried about it um, is pretty reassuring. And these pilots, you know, don't even think about turbulence. They're, you know, it's a very normal function. They basically explain that the wings could be brought all the way up and all the way down and nothing's going to break off and the plane's not going to flip over and I think from that standpoint I feel a lot better. Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars For the final day they scheduled a graduation flight from New York to Boston and back. Uh, okay. I feel fine. Just a, a little nauseous. Not too bad. Well, I made it to the airport, despite the fact that I would have paid to be anywhere else. You're going to take charge. It's the old fear will run back once in a while and wave its arms, but you don't have to listen to it. I just think it's great to have been together and to be with people that understand. And I'm just, <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. I have my mask on here and I... I want him to okay, represent all of us. <laughs> I insisted my Today Show producer Joanne Lamarca come too. She says flying with me is an absolute nightmare. 
even making reservations to fly is I think worse than the actual flying because we go through every type of plane, every route the plane flies through, and every airport that we can land in. So um, I came here because I want to be part of helping her get over that so that I can fly with her. <laughs> Why can't I let go of your hand? In other words, hold my hand. Only two seminar participants declined to board the plane for Boston. Recognize that we're not doing something that is dangerous. It threatens your feelings, but it's not danger. It's gonna be a beautiful day for an airplane ride. Let's take it nice and easy. It's gonna be so easy. You just had to go through that, dear. We just had to go through it. We're actually doing okay, but that's because it's smooth right now, right? You should have seen us on takeoff. Yeah, I'm pretty... like a baby. <laughs> Just get me way up high, suddenly, here am I, I'm flying. To our great relief, we landed safely. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. People were not totally over their fear, but they were better able to handle it. I think I have less of a fear, but the, the specific things about flying that frightened me beforehand still frighten me. You know, the taking off, the turbulence and all that. The anticipation of the flight wasn't nearly as bad. It's a start, and I'm really proud of myself for doing it, and I feel great, and I'm proud of everyone here. I'm flying. Now, if you're interested, the cost for the program is $300. However, that does not include the graduation flight. But I am a little bit better, I Are must you, say. You feel I more comfortable? A little bit. I mean, I don't think I'll ever totally love it, but I do feel a little bit more comfortable. Well, we're than glad to hear that, Jill. Yes, that because was it's fun. been a big fear for a long time. Well, got my little graduation flight certificate on my pin, and I'm ready. Congratulations. <laughs> In a moment, some vacation ideas for the over 50 crowd. That's right after this. Are you getting all the relief you need for arthritis pain? Discover the first spot. And it's just sort of uh, spattering a little bit of snow in the area. We can see this from Logan Airport, which so far has fared fairly well. There's just a little bit of light snow and the